by incorporating aspects of scenario planning methodology, we addressed critical uncertainties. Because scenario planning and uh, uncertainties are aligned. So we address critical uncertainties, including inter alia, the possibility of heightened load sharing stages up to and including the unlikely event of stage 16 by taking the full electricity load of the national grid. Uh, and in so doing, we significantly mitigated the propensity of human error by the good operator people that work in ESCOM system operations and ESCOM and the municipal distribution centers. In the unlikely event of stage 16, from a scenario planning perspective, uh, you would, uh, a customer would in, uh, um, uh, experience uh, sort of 32 hours of load shedding. And why 32 hours? You may say we have 24 hours in a day, but uh, you will note from the document that uh, it's on a 32 hour cycle. So uh, without going into detail, you'll be virtually being load shed the entire day. If we take a step back, addition two, we went up to stage eight, right? And until two weeks ago, when um, when, st when addition three was uh, officially released and became legally mandated. So before that, if we went into uh, a situation beyond stage eight, then the good people uh, at uh, system operations and the ESCOM and uh, Munich distribution control centers, distribution centers, uh, would have went into what we call in very simple terms, an emergency and, and contingency mode to manage to effectively manage uh, and efficiently manage uh, the load, uh, the required load sharing stages beyond stage eight to maintain a supply and demand uh, requirement uh, of 50 years, as Mr. Gumeda explained in his slide. Now, this is the crux of my response. In an emergency situation beyond stage eight, which we can't rule out as an NRS given the erratic nature and instability of the grid, notwithstanding ESCOM's current good performance, the, um, the system operations people, uh, it becomes, uh, let me keep it simple, it becomes a bit more complex when you get beyond stage eight, because you have less load, electricity load, uh, to play with or to manage with in effecting those additional load shedding stages. So the propensity, and, and these people are humans, although they're very competent, the propensity of making an error in a real-time emergency situation then increases. So what we did as an NRS team with wide consultation amongst many, many highly qualified engineers, we said, let's mitigate that risk, not entirely, because we can't do it entirely, but as much as we can do. So what we did is we took the uh, the maximum load, not maximum, the highest load uh, on the grid um, and um, so nationally, and we roughly equated that to to mechanistically or mathematically to stage 16, and and, and that would be uh, mathematically also the maximum stage you would probably go to. Now. To move from stage eight to stage 16, unlikely, the propensity of error is there with addition two. With addition three, we provided a number of tools uh, and guidelines and et cetera, so that the good people in uh, system operations, et cetera, would be able to um, rely on to assist them in that emergency real-time situation.